This wasn't a complicated project, although it did involve quite a bit of code because of the various ways fireworks are launched. However, it's a good example of where particle systems can really bring a game to life. We only have two different types here, but they still do wonders as simple special effects. Plus, of course, you have yet more Swift coding experience under your belt. Now complete with follow, UI Bezier path, 4K let, color blending, and yes, even the shake gesture. Although I wouldn't be surprised if you switched to having a button on the screen to make explosions easier. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, for an easy challenge, try adding a score label that updates as the player's score changes. Second, make the game end after a certain number of launches. You'll need to use the invalidate method of timer to stop it from repeating. And third, use the wait for duration and remove from parent actions inside a sequence to make sure explosion particle emitters are removed from the game scene when they're finished.